Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The action has already started. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Raheem Sterling. He could be the key man for me, Peter, because he's so quick and direct with the ball at his feet. And that low centre of gravity also makes it hard to knock him off the ball. You know, he can turn very quickly. He's also improved his end product in recent years, and he's more capable of finishing with a plum now. His whole game has matured beautifully. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Neymar. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Cruyff. Saka. Still goalless at the moment. De Ligt gets it back. Messi. And here's Cruyff. And here's Iniesta. It's Iniesta! And he comes up trumps again. Well, look, believe me when I tell you that goalkeepers work harder than anyone else in training, and that's why, to be top class on match day, that was a majestic stop. He's got through. Chance to go for goal! Cleared away. Iniesta plays it out to the wing. Upa Meccano. Locatelli. Sterling. Hoists it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Maguire. Stones. Kyle Walker. Saka. Oh, that's a waste. The first 45 minutes are up. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. We'll it back on the first 45 minutes. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. So we're already into the second period. Nil nil then, and we're back on the way. And it's Neymar. And here's Cruyff. Cruyff, well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Cruyff, Locatelli. And it's been taken straight back. Neymar. Oh, great ball! And the finish! Oh, let's put a stop to that.
Iniesta battles to win it back. And that's been one straight. Trif! Oh, great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. England can make their change now with uh, a break in play. And it's Iniesta. Sterling, decent progress down the left, good challenge, he just stood firm. Look, this can still go either way, it might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And it's Iniesta. Oh, good take in a good area. Caught offside that time. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. <laughs> Greenish gets it out to the wing. England showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Sterling, it's broken loose. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Kyle Walker. Maguire. And that's that. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defence is largely untroubled. 